All right, thank you so much, Mike. And we mentioned at the top of the show that this guy is super busy. My co-host, Eddie George. I got to call you coach now, man. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? Coach of uh, <laughs> TSU. Look, man, I remember you told me back on the Titans Blitz, what, November? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That you got the offer. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got an opportunity. Um, I looked at it. Vetted it out. At first, I was like, hell no. <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm not a coach. But um, after doing some soul searching, doing some due diligence, uh, called around the league, got opinion of, of different coaches, different friends that I knew, um, and really thought about the opportunity of making an impact in kids' lives and, and just where it was going. And, and really, uh, Prime, uh, Deion Sanders, he's a trendsetter. And I saw the impact he had at Jackson State. And me living here for 20 some odd years, being familiar with Tennessee State University, the tradition, um, everything that, that it entails, they have the bones to be really great. So, you know, I said, um, why not? You know, why not? Why not me? Why not you? It's a, and, and I have to call you out on this one. It's the first thing you said to me uh, <laughs> when you got the job. The only thing you cared about were, were those kids. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, no, no question. Because I. I if I'm gonna be, if I'm, if I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be 100 percent in, and I can't sit on somebody's couch yeah. and tell them to come to my university, and and uh, and I'm not gonna be fully involved. Yeah. You know, I have to be all the way involved, from recruiting to compliance to the the moment these kids wake up in the morning, how, what they eat, how they get to the facility, how they practice when they leave, um, how they study, uh, and more importantly how they transition out of the game after the game, mm -hmm. you know, I can think, I think I'm going to be a huge asset for that and really create an environment where we want to bring in some really great teachers, not just coaches, but teachers that are going to uh, really invest in them as men. And um, I'm really excited about it as well. Yeah, well, I know you are. I know you're going to do a great job. You're already a dynamic well, I'm, I'm, I'm leader. Trying, well, I'm trying to recruit, you know, some guys, see if they got some <laughs> eligibility tomorrow. To my right, do bring them in the second, but let's, uh, we'll let's, see. Let's do that right now. They've been sitting here waiting patiently. CJ2K, the freak yeah. Javon Curse. Thank you guys yes. for being here. Thanks for having us. So how about Coach here? Yeah, yes. It is, man, it's amazing to see that, for him to get that job and for him to go in there and help the kids and the things that I know he would be able to do from, you know, just how he is inspire me and his leadership and stuff like that. They got they got a great guy. Do you have any eligibility left, C? <laughs> <laughs> you came out as a junior, right? Yeah, no, nah, I see you. See you. See you. Yeah. But um, that's the facts right there. Like it's all it's all right there. Whatever this guy right here, he embodies hard work, determination. But not just on the field, not just in, on the field to play, but just off, off the field as well. Just this, this, this big bro. This is one of the mm. one of the guys that I really looked up to. My first days, like my first minutes in the NFL, him and Steve. I couldn't wait like to to go meet those guys and talk to those guys. And he kind of, he kind of, you know, he was he he took on the big brother role. I kind of forced him to do it, but <laughs> <laughs> he, hey. he took no. I kind of forced him to do it, but I mean, like he's like he's that he's the guy. Like if there's anyone that I know that's perfect for this job, it's my man Eddie George. And you know, like he just wow. mentioned something about you know trying to recruit some guys. He don't have to recruit me. Like I can. <laughs> I can, I can do ready. something. I'm ready. Be ready, be ready right ready. now. Ready. I'm back in the DS, weight room, something there, and even off the field yeah. stuff. But I mean, but like my guy Eddie George, like he's definitely the man for these kids. All right, well let's let, yeah. let's talk about that. And congratulations once again, Eddie. You're gonna do you're gonna do a killer job. I can't wait to see you coach on the same field that y'all played on. Yeah, TSU right. playing crazy, at Nissan right. Stadium. Right. Uh, but but let's let's transition a little bit on that thought, Javon. Um, uh, you technically were the first. First Titan draft ever, ever, first, ever, ever Tennessee Titans. Titan. You're the first Titan. That. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know so that. Yeah. when you came to the team, uh -huh. were you you were looking at guys like this? Yeah. I mean, like I, I watched Eddie in college. I watched yeah. his little pea head stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was with Wendell Heisman in college and like do, and do his thing like back in college, and then the same with, with Steve. And then like once I got my name called on that sat on that Saturday and when I got here, but I'm like, man, I'm like these, I'm like those some of the guys that I wanna like get to know, like because we're a family. I, I need to get to know my big brothers like early and often. Yeah, when we got Javon, when we found out we drafted Javon, it was like always on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Fisher yeah. raved about, listen, he said, <laughs> Steve, Eddie, we've got this kid out of Florida. He is going to change the game. Oh, my gosh. He is an absolute animal off the edge. He can rush. He can do it all. I was like, Javon Curse. Like, oh, my God, Javon. So when he got in the camp, you know, I'm trying to be, you know, all cool, like uh, whatever. He, he a rookie. He going to do what we say. We're going to see how he handles the, uh, the conditioning test. This dude was backpedaling the last lap of the conditioning test. So and we just no, knew I, we just knew he was going to be special for us. And he was the missing cog to really set us off to go from eight and eight to have the run that we had during our time with the Titans. And he's actually the bridge. He played with CJ too. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, he was the old head. So, yeah. That's saying, yeah. yeah. That's right. That's absolutely right. What are these guys going through tonight, guys? I mean, it's draft night. We got some uh, Titans in the wings, uh, waiting in the wings. But... Um, you know, what's everybody feeling? How are these guys feeling tonight? Are they? Um, I mean, me personally, I'm sure it's the more guys in the draft. Um, I was hearing all this top 10 thing, so I was kind of anxious. Okay. I had butterflies okay. that day or whatever. And then back then, they did, um, they started like the first two, like two or three rounds, like on that Saturday. But literally, um, on that day, I was, it was, I had, I had my, my stomach was going through a whole lot of stuff. Really? All but right. then it eventually, it catapulted me. It motivated me because um, I felt like I was going to, I felt like I was going to be top 10. I didn't feel like that. I think I heard that. I was hearing that. So once you start hearing things, it, you, planted. it, it starts getting planted there. So yeah. once I heard top 10 or whatever, and then the, the few teams, the teams that I visited, I visited maybe four teams, all top 10. And then the day before and the morning of the draft, None but top 10 teams were reaching out to me to make sure that they had the correct phone number for me and everything. Yeah. And then once they did that, I'm like, I'm going top 10. And once that didn't happen, I'm actually happy it didn't happen. Okay. To be honest with you, I'm happy I fell to 16. <laughs> was it? Yeah, 16. Yeah, it was not like it was far. It was motivation. No, it <laughs> okay, wasn't right, far. But, but to me, I'm the type of person that I'm going to always find a way to motivate myself. I'm going to yeah. find a way to push myself. Even if you can't or even if another team can or a coach or mm -hmm. so, someone can. Oh, if they can't do it, yeah. I have to find a way to do it myself. And then with that, then I told the story to everybody. They're like, you still, you were in the first round. You went number <laughs> yeah. 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I did, but I feel like I should have been off the board because that day, that draft, it's, 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 it's long, man. Well, were you, you were at home or were you in New York? I was at home, which I probably shouldn't have been at home because I was at home oh, with family and friends. And pressure. then they know how to reach me. So they call in the house during the oh. draft. Did you get picked yet? Oh. <laughs> No, I ain't get picky. Yeah. Turn your TV on and watch yeah, it. Was, Stop yeah. tying up the phone line. <laughs> well, uh, Chris, what about you? I mean, you you blew everybody away at the combine. So, what are, what are your thoughts on draft night? Well, my whole my whole draft process, you know, it was always saying that I was gonna go second, third round because I went to a smaller school. Right, you see, you know what I'm saying? So then, after I ran the at the combine, after I ran the forty, you know, they say my <laughs> it was rising, it was rising. I could be a first round pick, so I was. Late first round, early second, you know, a lot of different things and stuff like that. And then, you know, you hear the, the guys say, yeah, he didn't play against the competition and this and that. Mm -hmm. And then it was just crazy because I went to, like, I went from the, after the combine, then after, you know, you have your visits to the different, you got to fly to the different mm -hmm. cities. I had 16 visits. So I'm like, so I'm flying from city to city to city. So then I got my workouts or whatever. So it was crazy. Um, coach. Um, Ernest Biner, the running yeah, back coach, yeah, he went to East Carolina too. So he, so the day before the draft, he called me and he was like, "Man, listen, I just, um, I just finished talking to Fish. They say if you there at 24, we're gonna take you." So when he told me this, it kind of upset me because, because <laughs> oh it was five running backs winning the first round yeah. of my year, yeah. and I felt like I was better than all those guys. Five slower running backs is what you're saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> five slower too, yeah. So I'm like, it's no way that four running backs is gonna go before me, and I'm gonna fall all the way to 24. Know what I'm saying? But four running backs went okay. before me, and I'm just yeah. sitting there. I just send them come off the board, come off the board. So when 24 got there, I'm like, yeah, he told me this. I'm like, I want to be a first rounder. Yeah. And then I seen 615 pop up, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I kind of knew. I kind of knew, but I wanted to go earlier. But it worked out for the best. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't go earlier. I'm glad I dropped the 24. My first year, I had more rushing yards than every running back that yeah. went mm -hmm. before me. Mm -hmm. Combined. Combined. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I had a better career than everybody that went before yeah. me, so yeah. it, it worked out. So. It's, it's funny because we had the same common themes. I, I, they, the Titans had, they were at number nine, 
and I was supposed to go at nine, and then they dropped at like twenty two or twenty four. What they, they trade the pick? Yeah, they traded the pick, and, that, and nobody else was picking a running back. So yeah. I was in New York, and the cameras went straight to me uh, when they did that, yeah. and I was like, "Oh my god!" So I got to put on a fake laugh, like I'm not upset, and then yeah. inside I'm sick, like, yeah. "Oh my gosh!" And the next team that was going to pick me was at 17, was Minnesota, and uh, but the Titans came back up at 14 and got me, and I, mm. I just told my agent, I said. Just get me in the, uh, the camp on time. I'll take care of the rest. It was two other running backs that went before me, Tim Bianca Batuka and the late Lawrence Phillips. And um, wow. I remember CJ, uh, when he got drafted, I was calling games for the Titans uh, back then. And uh, his first, I think it was his first carry, he's like, okay, we're going to see what young CJ can do. Uh, if, he can, if he's ready for the big time, you know, he's small in size, but he's fast. Dude, he had, I think he had the second carry. You took it 80 yeah, yards. Yeah. I said, well, here yeah. we have it. There it is. He, yeah. Nothing yeah. else needs to be said. <laughs> and right. now I'm thinking to myself, okay, I hope he doesn't break my all-time record because this dude could do it in two years, the, the way that he was doing stuff. But he was such a special, special player for us, man. And yeah. I'm so glad that he was able to carry that mantle of, of great running backs that this franchise has produced. This franchise, I mean, we're looking at a, a great portion of this franchise. Y'all are some of the greatest to ever wear this uniform. It's an honor to sit here with you. And on this draft night, we potentially might have another one coming mm -hmm. up. But uh, I was just curious about those nerves that you felt. And it's interesting. I can tell in each and every one of you, <laughs> yeah. you still sort of viscerally feel that oh, moment yeah, that I night. I did a post yeah. earlier. I was talking about the goosebumps, the yeah. goosebumps that I felt. Like I said, like I, I visited like, um, I, I visit maybe five or six teams. They're all top ten. And then yeah. the teams that I heard from. So I had this set in my mind in concrete. Oh, oh you off the board in 10. <laughs> yeah. 10 or less. 10 or less you're, you're off there or whatever. But I mean, yeah. like things work out the way they do, and then I think it, I, I appreciate the way it worked out. Absolutely, yeah. dude. Yeah. How, uh, how are the Titans looking these days? They're looking pretty good. Yeah? They're looking pretty good. So I like good. hearing your perspective yeah. on this. Yeah, yeah they're looking We got another good. 2K in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? You okay with that? I feel great about it, man. Yeah. yeah. I feel great about it. You know, way back then when they was trying to write them off, I told them they need to. Give him the ball. Yeah, he's not a guy that you can just give the ball here and there, and then you know, mm -hmm. he's a guy. I feel like he's the type of guy mm -hmm. like me, mm -hmm. and also like Eddie. You have to give us the ball, and throughout the the game, yeah. third, fourth quarter, then yeah. you know yeah. that's when the defense is gonna lay, lay down. I, 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 but honestly, when he was on the on the verge of cracking two thousand, were you watching intently? Where where were you when he when he broke the record? I was I was at home watching, and it was even before he broke the record. This one I knew he was gonna break the record. He had a he had a run like I think it was up the right side. He probably broke like three or four times early in the game. I'm yeah. like, yeah, they don't want to hit him. Like yeah. I said they don't yeah. want to hit him. Yeah, I said yeah. he's gonna break the record after that. After I seen that run, I'm like but he he's needed break the to like two fifty three yeah, or something like that. Yeah, but that run put right. him at like like I think it was like one twenty or something like in the first in the half. Game. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. like, yeah, he's going to break it. They don't yeah. want to hit him. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, they don't want to hit him. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's been, it's been a run so far, and we're yeah. still going, obviously. Yeah. And I, you know, I love what you guys bring to the team, uh, you know, coming to this uh, show for us and, and just yeah. and hanging out and being who you are, representing uh, this team the way you do still. Love it. Yeah, man, you know, it's awesome. It's legends awesome. right here. <laughs> Personally, I like what they're doing. I like what, I like um, the the, fo the focus they're doing on defense now. Mm -hmm. I mean, on paper, last year looked like with Beasley, Clowning, yeah, Landry, mm -hmm. they were gonna like on paper kill right. it. Yeah, right. on yeah. paper, right. on paper. Right. Yeah, it's different, different when clowning. you gotta play the yeah, game. They, yeah. Correct. Uh, right now, though, on paper. But I'm seeing good things. Uh, Bud Dupree uh, picking up that acquisition. So I see a lot of yeah. I see a lot of freak like play from yeah. him and his speed off the edge. Correct. So I wondered what your thoughts were on that. No, that that's definitely big. I mean, um, personally, I'm a defensive lineman, so I feel like it all starts up front. Mm -hmm. So right. if you if you get that you get that front four, that front seven, mm -hmm. like doing things, that's gonna make the guys on, on the back end job a lot a lot less hard. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I, I think. Um, this is a, a definitely um, a tipping point for the Titans. You know, picking up Bud in the offseason was huge. That's something they needed to address, I thought, last draft um, by getting a, a defensive end, but they felt, felt that Clowney could do it. Uh, getting Bud was good. Um, I think 
still going defense still. Um, the corner would be good in this draft in the first round. Um, offensive tackle, um, you can never go wrong with building out the trenches because inside out is how you win in this game. Of course, um, there, there's been speculation around Julio Jones possibly. We got to get, we gotta, we gotta I, get another receiver, man. Heard that. Yeah, okay. yeah, you so, have to. Yeah. yeah. So we don't, yeah, no double team on one side and then don't let them eight, nine in the box there. You yeah. got, got problems. Yeah. <laughs> you can See, I'm, receiver, I'm, got listening problems. This, uh, I'm listening to this from uh, Eddie's perspective as a coach now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like this is how we right. yeah. game. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I know. Yeah. I just yeah. know how it is. The season after you run for two thousand yards, I know how it is. The next season. Yeah, how is that? I mean, because he's, eight, he, eight, he, he's two years in a row every, that he's led every, the league in rushing. Yeah. Even harder for him. The yeah, third. because because basically when teams play Titans, they know we got to start there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's eight nine in the box every game. Yeah. So then going back to that wide receiver you're calling for. <laughs> back receiver. Yeah, we got to go back yeah, to that. the field. Yeah. 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 So you know yeah. AJ, AJ going to do what he have to do. So if, you know what I'm saying, we need somebody on the other side so they can't double team him and put eight, nine in the box. I love that you guys still pay so such close attention to this game, you oh, know. Definitely. And plus, I got to admit this. All three of y'all look like you still play the game. So <laughs> you were joking about could they have any eligibility. <laughs> no, but I wasn't joking. <laughs> I see this kind of happening. <laughs> All right, fellas. Thank you so much for being here and uh, joining well, us. Well, actually, before we go, I, I do want to offer CJ's sons a, a, a scholarship <laughs> right now. Because I, I see the twins. Twin yeah. yeah. juices. They're serious. So, yeah, 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 they're serious. Yeah, sons are serious. They're yeah. they babies. They're babies. They're eight years old. But, <laughs> but already know. we're seeing it? Yeah, we see oh, it. Oh, yeah, it's there. So it's officially, there. the Remember twins this. have their first college offer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> their first college offer. <laughs> it's, it's on tape. Yeah, it's on tape. We got nah, this. It's on tape. <laughs> <laughs> Javon Curse, the freak, Chris Johnson, CJ Two K. Thank you for joining Eddie and myself Absolutely. here, and Coach, 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 Coach. Yes, it's crazy, Coach, Coach George. <laughs>